Hey everybody, and this is Brain Nectar. Uh, welcome back to this uh, YouTube video, and today I'm going to show you how to properly do uh, multiply and overlay effects in the free program called Crito. Now I want to give like a disclaimer. Uh, in one of my uh, old videos, that was about clipping groups. Uh, I think it's uh, getting a lot of like dislikes because people are thinking I'm explaining that's how uh, true multiply works, but that's not really how it works. I just showed you in that video how to do clipping. I didn't really show you how to actually properly darken uh, your image parts. So if you were to uh, maybe take clipping off, you probably you guys probably would have noticed a big blurry mess all over what you were painting. So actually, clipping clipping groups are something different from multiply and overlay. When you're actually using multiply and overlay, and let me show you. Um, we need to add some darker shadow areas to this uh, skull. This is kind of a, this is just more of a personal piece, and it's, it doesn't really exactly mean anything. It's kind of fantasy. It's just fantasy styled. Um, we need to add some darker areas. You could go uh, here. I have my uh, little group. You could go here. I put some layers in there. Turn that into a multiply. That's the simplest way in creative to get a darker uh, area. And we want to kind of get a similar, but not the same, color to what we have on the skull and paint a little bit but here we go it's kind of working now you can still see some of the texture behind it and that is the purpose uh, it's not exactly doing a very clean job because I didn't properly clean up the um, the area directly around my character but I can clean that up more later. Uh, this is just to kind of show. Probably need to go a little darker than that, but we're just going to lay down the first layer. This will be uh, the bottom side of the giant's top jaw. So, we got this layering thing going on. Okay, and then we can go, we can go maybe even darker. We could do that even on another layer. See? And one of the easiest ways to add another layer in a little group is to click on the main group hub and click that, and then you have one of those. And you can multiply. Um, yeah, we can multiply again, and it's the same color set, so it'll just show the same thing. I'm going to put some of that in here. You can even blend some of it with the blend tool later to blend the shadows a little bit. And I might show that right now. Because in some paintings it looks a little bit cooler when you like um, blend shadow. Shadow isn't always blended, but sometimes. All right, and let's see. Huh. Much better. You can kind of see what I'm going for there. Now if you want to do like a overlay, brighten it, although it is actually pretty dark. Um, well maybe I could show you on this. You could do like an overlay on this. Overlay, and you'll 
make sure you have an actual brush selected. Um, here we go. So you see it kind of works, but that's not really the shade we want. Color select. Make that lighter. Maybe with a little bit of red. You see it adds on top of that. It's not the best form of it. Or do lighten. And lighten, uh, and I'm going to say lighten is also another way to um, add light to your uh, image. So overlay and lighten are two uh, pretty good ones I would use. Um, I'll blend that out a little bit later. Add some points of All right, and uh, that's it for now, guys. I didn't want to uh, waste or use up too much of your time. I, I like to try to keep these uh, art videos around 10 minutes. And remember, guys, uh, the wise musician once said, it's easier to hate than to love. So why don't we do what's a little bit harder, step out of our comfort zone a little bit, and uh, love instead of hate a little bit more. Because, you know, it's better to work at something than just go for the easy route and attack so attack people so um you guys have a great day uh stay awesome and i'll see you on the next one